Today I'm going to teach you how you can create this dope paper mixed media 3D tracked effect inside of After Effects. Let's go. First thing you're going to do is you're going to hit command D to duplicate your layer. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to rotoscope. I know it's a camera tracking tutorial. If you don't know how to rotoscope, you can check out this video linked right here. It's really easy. Go ahead and click your roto brush tool and just color over your subject and the green areas that you want to select. Hold option or alt to unselect the areas that you don't want and drag your playhead along until it selects your subject. I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up. Now that we have our subject completely rotoscoped, he's separated from our bottom layer. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the visibility of this top layer. I'm actually gonna change it to orange just so I know that's the rotoscope layer. Turn the visibility of the first layer on and then go over here to your tracker panel. If you don't see it, you can go to window, hit workspaces and make sure you're on all panels. Go to the very beginning of your clip and go ahead and hit the track camera button. And if you ever get this error right here, that means you're still in the rotoscope layer. So just go ahead and select the composition panel. Man, we're getting all the errors today. If you ever get this error too on your composition angle, where it says like analysis solve field. What I recommend doing is just going ahead and maybe extending the clip a little bit or like adjusting the link. That way you have more data for it to track. Go ahead and delete your old camera track and retrack it. It's gonna take a couple seconds. We're gonna go ahead and speed this part up. Now, once it's done tracking and it successfully worked, if you go ahead and increase the track point size, you'll see all these, what I like to call the 3D flowers. Now, these are just basically data points for After Effects. They're not gonna stay on your effect, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and create a camera. And then, because I don't trust the camera sometimes, After Effects is really just gonna try to create its own 3D camera of how it thinks the scene is reacting in a 3D space. But what I recommend doing, and for the effect that we're gonna be creating today, is we're gonna be selecting, holding shift, and selecting multiple different flowers right here on the back of this car right here, which is pretty stagnant throughout the entire scene. So that way After Effects has a good variety of data points that it can know is like a 3D surface. So once we selected maybe about nine to 10-ish points, we're gonna go ahead and right click this and create a solid. Now you're gonna see it created a solid, literally just uh, what we requested it to do. And if we select this solid, you can see we can scale it up. Uh, we can adjust the position, rotation, whatnot. And you can see it is perfectly tracked to the 3D surface of this car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scale up this solid like a bunch until it covers basically the whole screen. And boom, once it covers pretty much the entire screen, we can actually go ahead and drag this below our rotoscope layer, turn on the clip of our rotoscope layer, and then that way we can see our subject is now in front of that blue layer. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and right click this new solid that we created and we're gonna hit pre-comp. Now you can do either of these options, really doesn't matter, but we're gonna call this one overlay BG uh, because this is where we're gonna put the overlays here and we're gonna hit okay now it uh, looks like nothing happened but don't worry just go ahead and double click that layer and ta-da you see we have this composition of this blue square so this is basically the entire thing that's 3d track let's delete this blue square we don't want that so now it's time for the fun part the overlays we're gonna import some overlays now these overlays can be literally whatever you want if you have CRT effects film burn overlays mixed media packs this 3d camera tracking trick looks cool with any method so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with our box outline from our free free paint sample pack, which is linked down below in the description if you wanna check it out. So I just went ahead and imported that paint overlay border. And then I'm gonna to toggle on the transparency mode, go to my effects, and I'm gonna search for a luma key effect. I'm gonna apply this luma key effect. Now the reason that we have to apply this luma key effect, number one is to key out all the black, but also because this is a 3D camera track clip, we can't use a screen blending mode. Blending modes don't work if there are 3D object layers. So that's why we have to do this. Now you see if we go back to our main composition and we go to our composition panel you can see we have this crazy looking 3d paint tracked effect behind our subject and it looks like it's basically tracked to the scene now if it's in front of your subject just make sure that background layer is once again below that orange rotoscope layer that we made and if you want to go ahead and scale it up I recommend just scaling it up back here in this main composition and you can see pretty much where this effect is going and how to use it now this part is really fun because you can literally do whatever you want so I'm gonna actually pull up a couple of my other packs. First, I'm gonna start with my mixed media pack. I'm gonna drag in this like cool paper overlay that I made. By the way, if you wanna use the exact files that I'm using, I've linked down below to them all in the description at 11%.net. As you can see, I'm just applying a key light effect and then maybe I'll apply one more. I don't know, we'll see how this one looks so far. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply a paper texture background from my mixed media pack. I'm gonna drag that right below my rotoscope layer and now I can change the blending mode to screen because this is pretty 
much going to stay in one place. Yeah, that's looking pretty sick if you ask me. One other cool trick I recommend doing is going ahead and hitting Command D on that duplicated layer of the background. And this time we're going to bring it in front of our subject. One other trick I'd recommend doing is going ahead and going back over here to that 3D camera tracker. Make sure you select another good array of points that are going to be always present throughout the entire video. We're going to go ahead and create another solid. And this time we're going to go ahead and scale this solid up and bring it really, really close to the front of the screen. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pre-comp this. We're going to call this front overlay hit OK. Then I'm going to double click that overlay, delete this orange square just like we did in the first time. Now I'm going to add some individual assets that are going to overlay the front of my subject. So I'm going to actually use some Frutiger Metro effects from our Frutiger Metro pack. I'm going to go ahead and scale these down just like that. Drag this one here, drag that one there just like that. Now let's go back to our main comp and you can see we have these really cool 3D track, but let's go ahead and adjust those. Maybe scale them down a bit and readjust the positioning so that they are perfectly tracked to the scene. Once again, I'm going to bring these closer to the front. Just go Go ahead and mess around with the positioning scale and size and also placement and then once you have that all set you can see we have this nice Frutiger Metro effect one other thing I recommend doing is going to your effects and presets again searching for a Gaussian blur and applying it to this front overlay and increasing the blurriness just a little bit so everything feels a little bit out of focus just as it normally would on a camera and yeah that's pretty much how you can add effects to the front of course if you want to keep it on theme you can just go ahead and add more paper icons like this money sign effect right here I'm just go ahead and select that and do the same thing replace these Frutiger Metro Metro effects with these little money signs just like that and now we have some 3d floating paper money signs that are like out of focus and it just feels like it's part of the scene and that's the coolest thing about the after effects 3d tracker is that it can make it look like your effects are not just two-dimensional like slapped on but like they're actually there when you filmed it I just love that it looks super cool last thing I'm gonna do to spice this up and just make it super cool is I'm gonna add some camera shakes I'm gonna go ahead and hit layer create a new adjustment layer just like that and then I'm gonna go to my v3 camera shake pack I'm gonna drag and drop any camera shake that I like onto it. Now, if you want to get camera shakes like this too, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. But this camera shake and transitions pack has over 50 presets that are native to After Effects. No Sapphire, no third-party plugins. And just like that, super easy, drag and drop easy. I can hit Command D on this adjustment layer and move the adjustment layer. So then that way I have duplicates of the camera shake. There you guys have it, a dope method that you can use the 3D camera tracker to enhance your visual effects. Like I said, this applies for any of these overlays. You can go ahead and drag and drop anything that you like and make it 3D. And of course, if you want to use the exact files and overlays that I use in this tutorial, you can check out the links in the description. We have full samples and full asset packs with over hundreds of 4K files that are just drag and drop easy. Also, if you want to check out our automatic AI video editor plugin for Premiere Pro that will edit your videos to the beat automatically using AI, you can check out this video linked right here.